booktube and welcome back to my channel I am Sarah this is Aussie SFF science fiction and fantasy today I'm coming at you with a top five Wednesday and that is my top five road trip books now some of these are definite road trip books but I read a lot of sci-fi so some of them are less road trip and more space trip so here we go. I'll start out with my definite road trip books and I think this is one of the most seminal road trip books of all time and I absolutely loved it and I ended up driving on the roads that are mentioned through backcountry and that is Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I absolutely love this. I've got to read more Hunter S. Thompson. I, I love that the this was edition that I read actually has his weird tripped out, literally tripped out illustrations in it. And I found that to add to it greatly. Uh, if you don't know, one, it was a movie and I did watch the movie first and I actually really do like the book uh, equally. I think, I think I like the book equally. So they are on their way to Las Vegas to cover the motorbike racing tour and he has taken, Hunter S. Thompson has taken his lawyer with him along with the a very large amount of drugs and they proceed to take a lot of the drugs and pick up hitchhikers and deal with the lizards in the uh, casinos. There's the lizards in the casinos and generally get into a lot of trouble because they have literally no idea what's going on around them. Great read, wonderful uh, road trip book, thoroughly recommend. This next one I actually DNF'd the road. I counted that I read it, but I became so depressed reading this book. There is no punctuation other than full stops and commas. There's nothing to indicate, there's nothing to indicate that the actual speech is happening. It is all done uh, in first person, I think it's called. It feels grey and I had to stop reading it because it was actually making me depressed. I wanted to know what was going on, so I did look up a synopsis. I appreciate how well written this is. Fully appreciate how well written this is. This is an absolute wonderful road trip book. If you don't know what it's about, it's a father and son in a post-apocalyptic nuclear holocaust where it's, you know, the um, preppers were all right and they are basically trying to get somewhere where they can escape. I think it's US mainland. It is a horrible dog eat dog uh, fight against everyone you meet sort of place. And it just made me feel incredibly depressed, but it is an incredibly well-written, classic, wonderful road trip book. My next one is a childhood sort of sci-fi style road trip book but it's a space trip book and that is The Wonderful Flight to the Mushroom Planet by Eleanor Carmen. This is a beautiful little book that I got when I was a kid and I absolutely love it and it is about two boys Chuck and David and they find an ad in the in the local newspaper asking for two children who are to help a man build a rocket and go to the mushroom planet which can only be seen with a special filter in his telescope they take a chicken and they have to open a jar and collect the air when they're there it's just one of those wonderful little childhood stories there is actually a second one that I have seen I've never seen it available I would absolutely love to own a copy of the second one in this series this one as it was was picked up from a 
closing down school library. My second last road trip style sci-fi is Starship Titanic by Terry Jones and the Douglas Adams was the original um, idea maker behind this. He made the game and Terry was brought on to write the book. Uh, it has been a while since I have read this but the basic premise is just like the Titanic, the space starship Titanic crashes into an iceberg being someone's house on the planet Earth, uh, not on its maiden voyage, but on its uh, practice voyage. So there's no passengers aboard. And the person whose house it crashes into, he goes on a trip with them uh, with only the AI, onboard AI as company. Again, out and back, that sort of road trip, uh, space trip style one, very cute. It came out uh, as an accompaniment to the video game that Douglas Adams created. Uh, nice little quick, cute read. My last one, if you couldn't predict it, you haven't watched much of my channel and that is literally The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. My absolute favourite book of all time. I This is my ultimate road trip for myself. I would love to be taken away from not have the earth blow up but taken away in a starship trillion style taken around the universe or galaxy as the case may be i think i would be much more deserving of it i think i would be much more deserving of the trip around the galaxy than arthur dent who is a miserable miserable person but therein lies the humor of this tale. That's my top five road trip books. This is Colin. Mm, he's a nosy parker. Um, and that's my top five on Wednesday for today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and happy reading. Bye.